Hi everyone, it's time for this week's edition of the Roar Report. We are looking at the week of May 29th through June 2nd. We are just cruising into the end of the year here and we have a lot going on. Um, first things first, on Monday, May 29th, we have Memorial Day. So nobody will be at school that day. That is a day for you to spend with your family. Then on Tuesday, May 30th, we start our Chromebook check-ins. That is something very important. We need all Chromebooks and chargers turned into discussion discovery teachers. I know some parents are not wild about having their kids take their Chromebooks on the bus, if that is the case. You can certainly bring the Chromebooks into our building on Tuesday and Wednesday of this next week, and we can help you with the check-in process. Also happening on Tuesday the 30th, it is our last concert of the year for band. Um, that will be happening at Tillamook High School in the auditorium. That is a junior high high school combined effort it starts at 7 o'clock. Those are always a lot of fun. And then on Wednesday, May 31st, now I want you to listen really carefully because there's two different events that are back to back that sound a lot the same. <laughs> but on Wednesday, May 31st, we are having a Washington DC Parent Information Night for 7th graders. So Mrs. Barnett, our librarian, is um, organizing a trip for next summer, so summer 2024, with this year's seventh graders. Um, and that first parent information night, just to, you know, get a little more info and a few facts about the trip, will happen on Wednesday, May 31st at 5.30 here at the junior high. And then Thursday, June 1st, we have our eighth grade Washington DC parent night. And those kids are actually taking off on their trip in just two weeks. So this is the final um, parent meeting for that just to get all the logistics and settle, you know, room assignments and flights and all of that. So two different events. The seventh grade parent night is on Wednesday. Eighth grade parent night is on Thursday both about Washington, D.C. and New York. Um, also happening on Thursday, June 1st, we have our choir class going out for a field trip to Five Rivers. Um, that's something that's really cool that our choir classes do here in town. They visit our retirement homes and assisted living homes and bring a little joy to the residents there. I know that that is something that those folks really look forward to. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm appreciative of Ms. Bergman for getting our students out into the community like that. Then Friday, June June 2nd. I can't even think about it without getting actually like a little teary. That is graduation day um, for our kids here in Tillamook. The high school graduation happens at 7 o'clock at night and that is going to be at the high school this year back on the field on our new sports complex back there, which is kind of an exciting thing. Um, you have to have a ticket to get in, but that morning, mm, like cue the waterworks, all of our high school graduates um, do a parade of their elementary schools. So the kids don their cap and gown and they walk through the halls of, you know, Liberty South, Prairie, East, the junior high, and then um, that night they graduate. And we all at the schools line the halls and clap and cheer for them. And it's a really emotional thing. I can't even imagine for the parents. It's emotional for me as a principal seeing these kids who, oh my gosh, come so far. Anyway, I, I look forward to it every year. If you um, are lucky enough to ever be a part of that, um, yeah, I'll just say you are lucky if you're a part of that. All right. Um, other things, I don't know, folks. Holy moly. I just want to make sure, especially that the um, eighth grade parents remember that we are having our um, eighth grade recognition on Thursday, June 8th. So I know that's two weeks out, but that is a really important day where we get together and really celebrate the accomplishments of this year's eighth grade class. We are recognizing students um, with some very special awards. This year we're adding in the Sherry Salo Attendance Award um, to remember our friend Sherry from the office. And um, that's something you don't want to miss. That is Thursday, June 8th at the high school at 8.30 in the morning. We are just asking that families go directly there instead of coming to the junior high in the morning. Um, it's just too much of a scramble. So we'd like students to be there by 8.15 in the morning and then um, we'll go from there. All right, folks. 
Thanks for sticking with us all year. It has been a really wonderful year and it is a great day to be a lion.